Good morning guys, I'm at the workshop today, here at the ledge, we're at the sunrise. I'm gonna try some jigging here. The water is hitting low tide right now, and it's rising upon. Let's get ready. Well, when you fish at the latch, you always need the chain. We're gonna start with the top water. The gear I'm using is Shimano Nessa BB Road with the Twin Power FD 5000. And the leader is FD Rocks 40 pound. As always, I'm gonna wet my line first. Super slide, 60 gram. Free fall all the way to the bottom and we're gonna jig from the bottom and give 20 times jerks. I'm using Hexa B pumps. This is 40 gram glow pick. I drop free fall all the way to the bottom and I just do fast retrieving. I, I stopped for like five seconds so it's fish so it can bite it. and stop for like 3 to 5 seconds 
in Fosbury Wigan. Well, I think it's my favorite color in the morning. Just trust me, it always works in the morning. Especially in a vocal, there's a lot of projects moving on. So I'm trying, I'm really fast retrieving to attract all the Boney or Sambo, maybe a king, but you just need to do a slower retrieve if you want to catch a king. Yeah, but this jig, one of my favorite jigs. Like, you can catch a lot of fish with just by slow retrieving or fast retrieving. Yep, I'm on. Like, feel like bony. Little Sambo. Fast drink. Nice. Feels like fifty five, maybe fifty. I'm gonna let him go. Whew. Come on, have a look at this. I just had a big bite just then. A look at my ring. Demolished. Let's move spots. When I fish, I always like to move different spots. In that case, you can explore the, the spot as well as, you know, there might be a different fish. Come my vodka when the weather's good or, and the tide. And most importantly, um, swells. I always check the swells. 
Yeah, when you fish at the rocks without chain, never fish on the top of the grains. It's so slippery. Look at that. What a beauty. I think swallow was like 0.6, which is really low if you compare to other uh, avocados. Also, when you walk, check the small lagoons. Sometimes there might be like octopus hanging around. The thing I like about Avoca is it has a fascinating views while you're fishing, which I really enjoy when I, I look at the views when I fish. My mate on the rocks and he's doing ISO fishing. Uh, I'm just gonna go to him and we'll see what he caught. This is the lagoon I found octopus last time. Couldn't get out because of the low tide. I'm gonna chuck some jigs over there on the rocks that he fish. If there's no buy, I'm gonna change to ISO fishing gears and go for either blackfish or some drummers. Luck at with ISO fishing, so I came back with the jig. I'm chucking Hexa B, 30 gram. Same action as the last time I caught the clambo. Pumps, long, slow blad, 40 gram. This is Jabra Glow, orange. Yeah, I'm on. First cost. <sighs> Things feel like bonito. Yep, I need it. Let's lift him off. You want one? Got him, mate. It's tiny, though. Done. If you want it, I can give you. Yeah, yeah. Do you want it? Give, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait, let me just take a photo. Yeah, yeah. This is a little nice little brony. That's about 35. Yeah, it's tiny, though. Just, gotta... just YouTube, we got. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's me. Ah, uh, yeah, no one. I'll do it for you. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Thank yeah. you. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, the guy took the bonito. I normally catch him leaves, but I guess that tiny bonito will go for their dinner. I think Jabra Glow Orange. That one. Bonito, Mactuna loves those color. I always catch a bony with it. Like. It's really interesting they, how they attract to orange. I know, so this is a tip from me when you fish at the ledge. When the jig comes close to the ledge, I always wait until the waves come. So I do that to avoid the damage on the jig. So I wait until the waves come and I lift it up. In that case, that jig one hit the rocks, so it won't actually damage the jigs. Yeah. 